All right. Hello. We're back. Okay. Time for a spring scene. You can retain the fine point of the pencil just by rotating it. Because then if you dull one side, the other side will be sharper. You have to be really quiet when I do this. Okay. Quiet but relaxed. Um, there. Okay. I can breathe easier now. <laughs> okay, now we'll go to coloring them. So, pick a tree and just draw the outline like that. Okay. Let's pick another one. While the point of our pencil is still sharp, I'm just drawing in the outline for now. And then, once I feel it's getting dull, that's when I color it in. Now, I'm not coloring in it in, in even, with an even pressure, because I want to suggest the texture of the trunk. So, so I'm doing a mixture of light and hard pressure. Hard, soft, hard. Okay, I think this is enough brown trees. Let me just shake this off. Yep. Like beating the devil out of it. Okay, so that's uh, cleaner now. When we're dusted, we might smudge if we run our hand over it. Okay, now we get our green to draw in the green trunks to make our colors dance dance like they're in a ballroom together in partners paired up nicely I think that's enough enough Tree trunks. Now let's go to our yellow green. So we'll do the hatching. First, it's showing quite flat here, close to the footpath. You know what? <laughs> Try to make my life easier with this one. With this pencil extender. Okay. Flat like that and then turn it up just a little bit. Well this terrain is more flat. We still need to give it a little bit of irregularity. Now yeah. We have our shadow, since our shadow is cast that way, the rest of the trees would have to have shadows going this direction as well, so something like that. And then just run some hatching there. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed coloring along with me and I hope you've gained a new appreciation for colored pencils. I know I did. It's such an elementary tool that we've we got exposed to it at a very young age and so we tend to take it for granted. I know I did. I 
treated colored pencils just like any other pencil it's just a, a tool that you draw with like rough sketches or under drawings where you eventually slap over another set of art tools and I never really considered using colored pencils as a medium to use in my final artwork until I created my book Little Wolf and creating that book and, and using pencils to illustrate over a hundred pages really made me appreciate the medium and its and its simplicity really a pencil is just a piece of cylindrical wood with pigment in the, mi in the middle at the center and there's no sophistication at all with it you just need a sharpener and a surface to scratch on um, make markings but what it has that that really makes it stand out is 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 its textured its ability to create textured uh, colors its graininess its textured color you can't really create a flat color with um, a colored pencil because you're working with a fine point even if you turn it into its side you're still not going to be able to uh, achieve a really flat color on, on a piece of paper and that's really not the point in <laughs> using colored pencils if you want flat color you should use a uh, paint but so seeing that this is the main feature of colored pencils like you create colors that are so textured like that and so even if you are using simple shapes simple drawings like this when you juxtapose it to the texture of the color pencils and you're also your playfulness with the color combination and how you compose your illustration you end up with a, an illustration that is is um, music for your eyes I mean that's how you know you've created music for your eyes is when you can't get enough of it you can't get enough of looking at it and wanting to create more of it